I like to sing for velvet. Since my injury, I can't make remembrance. Because there are two teachers in the classroom and we are modeling different ways of reading film through looking at film technique, film theory, the cultural context of film, film as production, as mode of production, in all these ways, Tony and I will actually let students see us in conversation in the classroom. We will have debates and discussions ourselves and involve the students in them. Um, we'll offer different readings of, a, of a, the same clip. Um, in many ways, I think it's a way to model that there isn't one dominant reading of any film, but there are many plausible readings that, that students can generate based upon the kinds of evidence they can sustain to offer why they're reading a film in a particular way. So I just feel like it gives, us, it gives them an opportunity to see two professionals looking at film and differing with one another in opinion at times, agreeing, learning from each other, and the, the class gets to see that these are not issues set in stone, but they're negotiated, they're collaborated, upon, you know, collaborated with, and in many ways, um, the learning that takes place only happens because this group of people is coming together and talking in this in this context and they get to see that take place of course that takes place in a class with students and a professor too but i think in many ways students really enjoyed seeing two professional teachers in the room also discussing these subjects in front of them so it was really interesting What's, what's happened is there seemed to be a large kind of kind of hodgepodge organization of film around campus. English was teaching courses, the theater department taught a film course, um, history and modern and classical languages taught film courses, Fairhaven taught film courses and film production as well. And there really was no formal organized way for students to get like a minor in film. So the English department really recognized that there was this, this need on the on the parts of students and we decided to actually create a film minor. One, one of the challenges has been that we often have from freshmen to seniors in this introductory film class and I have students from all over campus. Not, they're not, it's not restricted to majors anymore. So a, a challenge has been, for example, that comes with teaching theory in this class. Most English majors have a background with literary theory and so it's not a leap for them to begin reading film theory. Students outside of the humanities um, or certainly outside of the English department don't have that background in reading literary theory so it's it's a much different discourse community that they have to move into and understand so what that means is that Tony, Tony and I have had to make bridges and in many way introduce theory at a different level than we would if the course were all English majors um, but so I think What's challenging in the course is also, or, or difficult in some ways, is also the source for its richness because we have these diverse ways of thinking about film and different experiences in working with film and that just has really enriched our discussion I think in an invaluable way. So